Let's do a cool text to trick that I was taught by Mark Spencer of Ripple Training, and I'm going to teach it to you guys. So I'm going to type in some text, and I'm going to size it up. It don't matter what font you use. Okay, and I'm going to go to my um, library textiles, and I'm going to just drag any kind of textile I like onto it. Let's open up our layers. Okay, now we have this text here inside of our group. Um, let's go to our inspector, um, our style tab under text. Okay, we have our glow turned off. Everything's good. So let's select our text, hit Command D, and duplicate it. Okay, so that gives us two copies of the same text. Let's take our original text and drag it out of that group. That way we have two separate groups. Okay, now I'm going to select the, the copy of my text and I'm going to turn on the glow. And I'm going to give it a blur of 20 and a radius of 20. And that's going to give us a big old glow like that. It don't look good now, but we're going to fix that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to go add filter, color correction, levels. And I'm going to grab this white point here and bring it up and blow it way out. This one right here. About like that right there looks pretty good. Okay. Now we have this text here. It doesn't look great, but we're going to get there. So now we need to add a mask to this text. But as you can see, our mask is grayed out. We can't use a mask on text. So what we're going to have to do is we'll add a whole new group, and we'll take this group with our text and put it in that new group. So now we have a group inside of a group. Okay. I can select that group now, and I'm going to select Bezier Mask Tool, and I'm going to make a little diagonal mask like this. Now, as you can see, that masks off our glow. Let me widen it out a little bit. Now I'm going to select my mask, go to the mask tab, and give it some feather, like so. So now all we need to do is animate our mask. So let's go up and go back to our select tool. Let's bring it over here like this. Let's put our playhead at the beginning. Turn on the command, the, the record key. I'll take it to about down here. I don't know. I'm just guessing. And I'm going to drag it across, straight across like this. Like that. Turn the command key, the record key off. And when we play it back, well, we'll click to deselect everything. And when we play it back, you'll see we have a sweeping glow right along our text. If you want to make the glow faster, that's not a problem. You can go into your keyframe editor, select your mask, and you'll see your mask here. And all you have to do is shorten it up here. And it should go across a lot faster. See there, now it's going faster. If you want it to go really fast, just pull it really fast down here like this. And now it's going real fast. Let's make it even faster than that. Okay, about like that. Click to deselect everything and we play back. We got a cool text shine, right? So there you go. Quick, easy fix. I was taught by Mark Spencer and I wanted to teach you guys because it's a cool trick. You see it everywhere. Thanks for watching, guys.